All right, so finally, let's go ahead and get it to it, man. You've been asking me, T, where is your sheath review video? Sorry, man, it's busy. I, I got y'all. So let's go ahead and lock in. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. The all new Kadabe sheath for the 14 Pro Max. All right, so if you're not familiar, get familiar with the Kadabe sheath, man, because this case right here is excellence. All right, I've already predicted it, and guess what? This case is even better than last year's, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into it right here. We do have three different colorways now. They do make a crimson colorway. I don't have it. I wish I did because that burgundy color is absolute fire. But hopefully they come in stock soon. Hopefully I can get my hands on one. And when I do, I'll do a video just showcasing that color alone, all right? So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's, let's just always go with OG Black, man. You really can't go wrong with the OG Black. Of course, at the end, we'll slap these on so you can check them out for yourself if you want to go with the... the the steel blue or the mountain green all right so let's go ahead and get into it man a little bit different kadabi packaging i think but if you're not familiar with the sheath let's go ahead and take a look take a look at it drop tested up to 6.6 .6 feet massive compatible textured grip all right those are the things that you need to know when it comes to the sheath all right minimalistic is their thing when it comes to kadabi all right so let's go ahead and check it out here is the champ all right this bad boy right here was in that top category for a long time when it came to the 13 pro max man it's definitely already going to be one of the best when it comes to the 14 pro max all right so not much different has changed when you were talking about the exterior all right you're still gonna get that texture grip you're still going to get that nice you know smooth i wish i was going to say felt lining if there was anything i could say that's corrected about this that i would like changed is give us a little bit of smooth in the inside man but they may not can't do that it is what it is i don't care but that's something someone actually bought up in the comic section you get that mag safe right here pay attention to that we're going to talk about that mag safe all right so let's go ahead and weigh the case let's see what we're working with when it comes times for weight because i know a lot of you last year said that the sheath was too heavy all right and it is a little bit more on the uh heavier side sitting at 52 grams but honestly if, if that's the only thing that I got to worry about is heft when it comes to a case this good, hey, I'm not even going to lie, man. I am going to deal with it all day. So let's go ahead and throw that space black on right here and let's go ahead and check it out. Let's pop this back on airplane mode because I'm getting comments and all types of stuff. All right. So let's take a look at it, man. Very stealthy. All right. Very minimal. When it comes to Kadabe cases, that's what they want when it comes to their cases. Very clean, very simple, very minimal, and that's what they always accomplish with their cases. Let's go ahead and kick it off, man. So on the top side, it's going to be completely closed. On that right side, as you can see here, you're going to get that raised textured power button, which absolutely works perfectly fine. No issues there at all. Flipping over on the bottom, you get your accurate speaker cutouts, which are very, very good. On that left side, perfect raised volume up and down, perfect tactility, tactility tility y'all like that big word right there man not so big but let me live nice volume up and down and we're gonna get that cut out for your mute toggle which is fairly easy to get to without any issues now flipping it over on the back you see that lip is protruding out there so it is protecting those cameras on the back of the 14 pro max so when you put it down you don't have to worry about damaging always love to see those lips being added to these cases all right so let's go ahead and take a look at it now lay on the table protection all right now i do and of course am rocking a tempered glass screen protector now even with that protector it does have a tiny lip that goes all the way around it so it has a nice little lay on table protection you're good sit your phone down i know a lot of you always complain about a case not having that much of a lip around it yo these are minimalistic cases, all right? They're not made to have a big old lip going all the way around it. If you want that, you might have to go with a higher drop protection case. These cases are meant to protect for your everyday drops, and that's exactly what the sheath does, in my opinion, when it comes to the everyday drops. So nice little lip that goes around it, gets the job done, because I have dropped the sheath plenty of times with the 13 Pro Max, and it did survive just fine, no issues at all, all right? Now, checking a look at, checking a look, taking a look at how it fits actually on the phone man and if it's anything like last year this thing fits like an absolute champ so starting off on that top side as you can see right here you're going to have a little bit of pull but all of this is very stiff material and coming down the side is of course going to give you a little bit of pull to your buttons but once again the sheath is giving you very snug material so you won't have to worry about it man you can be very confident this material right here is all going to snap back in place it's all going to be very firm on your phone and that's what you can expect the same thing when it comes to the fit when this phone is popped up there and you can hear the snaps going all the way around when this phone is up there it's up there good it's not going to have any issues it's not going to be popping off on its own 
I ran the sheath probably longer than any other case on my iPhone last year, besides maybe one more, if I'm not mistaken. I ran a few cases a lot. This was one of them. Never had an issue with this case at all when it comes to the fit. Absolutely A1 fit. And how does it feel in your hand? Now, I've had some people say they, te they technically don't really like the sheath when it comes to the texture on the back. Some people may think it's slippery, where some people may think it's grippy. So it really all depends on the way you you know the way you take how a phone case feels in your hand in my opinion i feel like it does give a nice level of grip i feel like i don't really get that much slippery when i run this case i really feel like it's fine keeps the phone fairly thin you add a little bit of thickness to it but honestly like i said i don't mind when the case is checking the boxes just like this sheath does all right now Remember when I told you guys pay attention to that MagSafe when it comes to the sheath. Now, last year with 13, you know, sheath had middle of the ground magnets, all right? They weren't too, weren't the strongest, but they certainly weren't the weakest, kind of somewhere in that middle. This year, pop it down on MagSafe, you see it works just fine. Look at what the sheath has up its sleeve this time. It can actually pick this base up. You know, I got to put my hand down here so it doesn't destroy my table. War wounds all around my table, but... The sheath magnet is actually picking up the block. That's picking up the Nomad base mount as we see it right here. And if you're not familiar with the channel, man, what that means is if you can pick up this mount right here, which is solid as I don't know what, and heavy, this means you have exceptional magnets, all right? And that is what the sheath has this year. They increased the magnet strength, and I am here for it. You just made one of the best cases for the 13 Pro Max better for the 14 Pro Max, and I couldn't ask for anything more from the sheath when it comes to it. As I said before, man, the sheath is just about as close to perfection that you're going to get when it comes to a case, all right? So let's go ahead and slap the other colors up here, man, just so you can check them out and see what they look like on this Space Black 14 Pro Max. All right, and here is going to be the steel blue, all right? So if you're just a blue fan and you like that, I really like this blue, all right? It's not too vibrant. It's not too muted. I feel like it's just in between, man. So here is going to be the steel blue sheath for the 14 Pro Max. Very nice color, in my opinion. When you're looking for a blue, anything's going to look good on that space black, in my opinion. Opinion. And here is going to be the mountain green. Some people are a green person. You may have loved that Alpine green on that 13 Pro Max. They took it away, but you still got a nice mountain green case to rock right here. This was basically their color last year to kind of mimic the Alpine green for it. It can go with it. it was a very smooth blend, but it also looks very good when it comes to to this space black and bend it over here so I can go ahead and grab them and let's go ahead and get to the question at hand man should you buy yes I'm not even going to finish the statement man you should absolutely buy this because of this case being so good it checking all of the boxes when it comes to a case but the one thing that I value Kadabe the most when it comes to their cases is they keep the price point steel and it's very affordable you're talking about a case that's right there under 40 bucks and you cannot ask for a better case and I actually think it's cheaper than that in my opinion but I really feel like for the features that you get for this case and for is how is you know how well how popular it was last year they could have came back this year and raised the price on you but no they kept it very simple they kept it very affordable but yet giving you an exceptional product when it comes to this case man you will be seeing this case again it is going to be no stranger to this channel man when we start talking about our best cases you can best believe that this case will be in the top five if not the top three if not the top two when it comes to top cases, man. So go out there, get yourself one. The links are down in the description. Of course, the affiliate links. And I have them down there for all the iPhones that they make them for. As you always know, man, y'all make sure y'all get subbed up because you know I am bringing you the, the dopest case reviews out here when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to the iPhone. Stay locked in. Y'all be easy, be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.